Hello, and welcome to Atlonicom 20, our month-long virtual trade show event. My name is Garth Loban, and this is our Booth Highlights live stream. If you're just joining us here on opening day, thanks for coming by. We're excited to have you. There's a lot to explore on the Atlonicom portal, from our virtual booth to our webinars on demand. There's even a scheduling app that you can use to book a booth tour or a business meeting with your favorite Atlona representative. After the live stream, I encourage you to explore the rest of the portal and visit the booth. I'm especially pleased if you joined us for our first booth highlights. These live streams cover our key products and technologies. Each day, we'll look at a different section of the booth, so check out our scheduled events section on the portal for information on upcoming sessions. We'd also like you to join in on the stream. Be sure to log in to your YouTube account so that you can comment on the stream and ask questions. Today, I'm joined by Justin Kennedy, Product Manager for Atlona's Velocity AV platform. Welcome, my friend. How are you? Thank you. Great. Hey, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well. So tell you what, I am going to navigate through the stand and let's head on over to the Velocity station. So while we're walking around the booth here, why don't you give us a quick overview of what the Velocity uh, platform is, Justin? Sure, absolutely. So Velocity is our control scheduling and asset management IP-based configuration control system and basically uh, combines all three of those, uh, those items, control, really robust control of really all of the Aloni equipment and of course third-party gear. Uh, also scheduling is integrated into this as well. So you can integrate with third-party scheduling systems to view and book the room schedules directly from the Atlona scheduling panels that sit outside the room. And also that third piece is the Atlona management or AMS asset management software that we include into Velocity. And that allows really from a management perspective, everyone to be able to manage, monitor, um, not just firmware and configuration files, but also credentials if you need to change your password every 90 days or something like that across all of the Atlona equipment based on IT regulations. Um, you can manage that functionality there as well. So really uh, three in one, control, asset management, and uh, the scheduling into a single platform. Uh, Very cool. A, yeah, so I'm just kind of scrolling through some of the informational screens that we have here on the site so that folks, when they come back, they can kind of look around and, and, and check out all the cool aspects of Velocity, see our white papers there and some quick overviews. So I'm just curious, why don't you kind of give us a sense of, of how we might deploy Velocity into a system? You know, I'm used to having a control sure. processor per room, but this is a little bit differently. It is, it is, and I think that's one of the one of the large benefits that Velocity offers is the, the multiple ways that it can be deployed throughout your environment. So there is a hardware platform that you can deploy through our gateways, and we support between three, 10, and 20 rooms on the hardware gateways, mm -hmm. but we also offer an interesting software platform that is our VGWSW that allows you to deploy on your own infrastructure, on your own server. And that starts at 20 rooms and you can add additional room licenses or however many rooms that you need to control throughout your facility. Got it. So, okay, so then let's take us through a, a, a setup then. So how would I go about setting up a room or do I really need to look at the enterprise when, I, when I'm putting this together? It's, it's extremely simple. So uh, one of the things that we really focused on with Velocity was getting away from the custom programming aspect. And so what you actually do is you basically add a room to the system and you can simply um, add your devices in, add your Atlona equipment, add your third party gear. Um, it's a really easy add process. Uh, and then a very simple configuration to integrate switching, to integrate um, additional control and functionality, macros, variables, uh, very, very simple to, uh, no programming required, very, mm -hmm. very simple to build out the systems um, to basically build the functionality for each of your rooms. Got it. So it all starts with this guy here, the gateway then? It starts with the gateway, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, as I mentioned, we've got, uh, we've got three different hardware gateways. Mm -hmm. um, the hardware gateway uh, offers uh, three rooms, 10 rooms, and 20 rooms respectively. And obviously they're named 3, 10, and 20, um, simply to, uh, to follow that pattern. Um, mm -hmm. And then of course we do have the, the software option as well. 
Got it. So then I've got three rooms, 10 rooms, 20 rooms, and then now the software, now that handles how many rooms? The software starts at a 20 room license. Okay. And because it is on your own infrastructure, uh, running on a virtual machine, um, the IT department can basically set the parameters for the virtual machine to really support however many rooms they need. So you can start with 20, add additional room licenses for 40, 60, 80, 100, 200, however many rooms you have in your facility, you can manage them through that single gateway using the, uh, using the software license and the additional room licenses. Very cool, very cool. Now I'm looking at the screen here and you've not only have the, the 310 and 20, the, the hardware options here, and it shows how many uh, rooms of AV control. Tell me about the scheduling aspect as well. So you've got the same number of rooms of scheduling. Do I have to have that? Am I scheduling with the same panel on the inside, the outside? Walk me through Great. that. Great question. And, and what we've actually done, because we know that the scheduling, um, the scheduling integration, when you have a scheduling panel on the outside of each room, does not necessarily take up the processing that the control functionality would. And so what we've actually done with the licenses for scheduling is basically double. So a okay. three room gateway will give you six total scheduling rooms. Uh, 10 will give you 20, 20 will give you 40. And same thing on the uh, on the software side. You'd simply just double the amount of room licenses you have, and that gives you your scheduling integration. Got it. So maybe this is a really good point to kind of transition between you know the gateway that we have here, and then let's talk about some of the things that we put on top of that. So we've got a couple of panels here. So this fellow here, this is our our, our touch panel. This is this is our VTP eight hundred. Uh, mm -hmm. We also offer this in uh, five and a half inch as well, black and white. Um, this is our typical, our standard room control touch panel. Um, you mm -hmm. can certainly use it for scheduling, but we've got some purpose-built scheduling panels that we'll talk about here in just a minute. But this is the touch panel that's going to allow the user to basically automate and control all of the technology and functionality of that space. Got it. And I see them here. You've got uh, the white uh, and black uh, eight inch, and then you've got the uh, five and a half inch. These are set portrait Absolutely. style, I noticed. Yes, you can you can mount the panels in either portrait or landscape mode. So very flexible mounting from uh, from that perspective. Great. And then let's see, looks like over here we, we've got the uh, the quick uh, overview of the uh, brochure with all of this in here. So there's the Definitely. AMS system you were talking about, the configuration. And over here on page two, we probably get a closer look at some of these. There you go. There's a gateway AMS. Fantastic. So let's take a look at the, uh, the other panel that uh, you had here. Now you've got the scheduling one here. Sure. Absolutely. This is our new VSP 800. It's an eight mm -hmm. inch, also black or white. Uh, but this panel is unique because it actually has um, top and bottom LEDs that uh, will show the room status, whether the room is available, busy, or even if you wanted to have a room warning with a maybe a, a countdown timeout on the on the room schedule, if the room was in, if the meeting was ending in 15 minutes, you could you could uh, trigger a warning there. Um, and so mm -hmm. that's really a uh, it can also be used for either scheduling or room control. Um, but what we're seeing is that our customers are utilizing this panel specifically for the outdoor scheduling panel, since it does have those LEDs for notification for the room status. Got it. I see. Very cool. And it's. You know, it, it's showing here, you know, a panel with, you know, red and green, you know, top and bottoms. But I guess you could use pretty much any color you wanted to. You said you had a warning capability in there. You could probably have to flash orange or something. There, like is, a, there, is, a, there is a yellow warning as well. That's correct. That's very cool. All right. So let's uh, get something new sitting here. Oh, wait. Don't you have some news on the 800? Shouldn't we, that be coming pretty soon? Uh, yes, actually uh, going to be shipping this week. So those panels are going to be ready to go um, probably by middle of this week. So Fantastic. get your orders in for those. And, and, and for those of you watching uh, uh, at a later time, uh, we're, we're here in the week of June 8th. So the good news is this will be shipping the week of June 8th. So that's, that's great news. Speaking of news, what's this guy here? Ah, this is our, our new... At Lona, VTP 1000 VL. VL stands for VESA, and mm -hmm. L is LED. So this is a 10-inch. It's 1280 by 800 uh, capacitive touch touch panel, uh, and it has a very very flexible uh, mounting options. Um, a single mount will actually allow you to mount this panel directly on a wall, um, directly onto glass with the glass adhesive that comes with the mount. 
um, as well as a single gang U.S. back box or a German single gang back box for the European folks. Um, and this right. panel uh, has very, very low profile LEDs, 360 degrees all the way around the panel. Um, this panel can be used for in-room control mm -hmm. or for scheduling. And you, we give you the flexibility to control the LEDs however you would like um, uh, for the control uh, aspect. You may not need the LEDs at all. And so you can completely disable them through the velocity configuration. For scheduling, you have the option to throw to show the 360 degree LED ring for available or for busy. Um, but you can also rotate the panel in any direction, portrait or landscape. And you can specifically specifically select which LEDs you want to display, top and bottom, left mm -hmm. and right, depending on which mode you want to set that up. Okay, so if I set that up portrait and I just want the 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 short sides here flashing, I can do that then. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, now, it's really, really flexible. So I've got some some branding here, uh, obviously the velocity, but that's that's not there in the final version though. Cust uh, customers can- So can that is actually want. something that I'll talk about. Uh, and that is a new template that we've created for our scheduling panels. And so that is a dynamically loaded uh, logo. And I'll show you, I'll, I'll kind of give you a quick demo of that here in just a little bit, but cool. that, uh, that branding can be your company branding. Nice. Uh, directly on the scheduling panel. So we have here a new product preview here on, so that means that's not on the website yet. So this is the information that's out, but we'll have information soon. And then for our viewers, I'll go ahead and point out this giant orange envelope here. So if you'd like more information or learn more about this product or any product you see here at the virtual booth, look for this orange envelope, fill that out, and we'll get information back to you from one of our inside sales reps or our representatives. We'll get back to you very shortly on that. So that's pretty cool. So we're talking about new stuff. Now you told me before we hopped on that you had some new stuff to show. Shall we go ahead and switch over to that? Sure, absolutely. All right, let's go ahead and bring up your screen and I'm gonna let you take it away, my friend. Sounds good. So I'm going to basically just touch base on uh, really kind of the top five. Uh, there's a lot of new features coming out in our Velocity 2.2. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to really kind of highlight the top five or, uh, you know, really five main main features. We've got a lot of great stuff coming in this release. Um, first thing I'm going to really talk about is those that are familiar with Velocity and you see this screen, something looks different, right? So what we've actually done is we've completely revamped the dashboard. And what you'll see now is real-time data information for memory usage, for CPU usage, for disk usage of the gateway, and that's either the hardware or the software platform, as well as the gateway uptime. How long has that gateway been up and running? Um, this information is really pertinent, specifically if you are running uh, a lot of macros, a lot of variables in your configuration files, and you want to know um, how the code how that is running on your gateway is taxing the actual hardware. And so this is that real-time data. You can see my CPU usage. I'm sitting around three, three and a half percent right now. Um, as I touch things on the touch panel and, and do some processing, you'll see some changes, some real-time changes there. So um, this is a really good feature that, that really enables you to see the performance of the gateway in real time and really um, utilize that information specifically on the virtual machine to allocate additional memory or additional processing or additional cores if you need to. Um, so really good data that we've added here. You'll also notice something different uh, on our top left, and that is our new room and site explorer, uh, gateway explorer. Uh, something interesting that you'll notice here is that I now have the ability to not only view my rooms, and you can see I've got my rooms here, they've got a green, uh, location uh, icon next to these rooms here. What does that actually mean? Well, mm -hmm. um, what that actually means, green means everything's connected and it's working the way it should. Red means we have a device that is not connected correctly or has been disconnected from our network, whether it's so a device. we can device. immediately go sort out what's yeah, going on. Absolutely. So really the thought behind this new site explorer was the ability to drill down into uh, really any room that we have on mm -hmm. our gateway Mm -hmm. uh, but also to be able to give us a, uh, a holistic overview of the rooms and whether those rooms are functioning correctly or not. So that as a technician, I can open up this dashboard and I can drill down into those problem rooms to determine what is exactly going on with uh, the devices that are not connected. 
Now, one thing that I do want to mention, which is really cool, this is this feature I think is uh, extremely useful as you start getting into larger deployments, um, multiple gateways. And what we've done is what's called gateway linking. And mm -hmm. so what you'll see here is that I've got my gateway number one here, but I also have a second gateway that I can now view on my screen. I can actually then drill down into the individual rooms from the site explorer into the different rooms of different gateways, all from a single location. So mm -hmm. really this, this then gives us that holistic view of our system, not just a gateway view, but our entire system, and we can link multiple gateways together. Um, I'm actually going to go into some additional detail on the on the gateway linking in an upcoming Tech Talk that's going to be held on Friday. So check that out. Um, that will also be a live webinar that will do a deep dive um, on to, in, in Velocity, and you'll be able to see some of the some of the functionality that we're adding into 2.2 that I think will be pertinent for your you your use as you uh, as you use the tool. Outstanding. Yep. Excellent. Um, I did also want to touch base on a couple of other items. Uh, the first one mm -hmm. is, or the next one actually, is our new scheduling template, which I did mention earlier. So now what you'll see in 2.2 is our new scheduling template submenu. This is our original scheduling template. Those that are familiar with Velocity have seen this template already. But mm -hmm. what we've done is we've actually added a second template that is user editable. Ah, and okay. So, that's what we were saying yes. before. Absolutely. And so you were talking about that logo. So you've got the logo there with the Velocity logo, but let's say I want to add, you know, a completely different logo. I want to add my company logo in. So I can drag and drop that logo in and you'll see it will dynamically change that image, not only on my preview screen, but mm -hmm. also on my actual touch panel. So um, it's dynamically changing um, my preview screen here, but it's also changing um, my physical touch panel as well. I can also customize colors. I can change my time and date format. So if I wanted to change time and date format based off of 12 hour, 24 hour format, I could do that. And of course I can then change my colors of the panel. Uh, and you can customize this to match your company's logos. Mm -hmm. uh, you could match a, the aesthetics of a room, whatever would make sense from that perspective. Uh, and then of course you have the option to modify all of these states of the panel as well for available for warning and for busy um, directly on, oh, this, on this template. Uh, and if you're mounting in portrait mode, no problem. Just flip that over and we'll give you a preview of what it will look like in portrait mode as well. So really, really cool new scheduling template that we are adding into Velocity 2.2. So pretty cool. Check that out as well. I need one of those outside the broadcast booth here. Uh, you probably do. That way, you can show that you're busy all the time. I think it would just, I think it would just be booked solid red. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I, I don't. I don't think my coworkers with four legs would be able to uh, recognize what uh, what that means, though. <laughs> no problem. I think at some point we'll all get back into uh, uh, get out of our shelter in place and get back into uh, to you know our, our work environments, and that's where those uh, those scheduling panels will uh, will come in handy for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Uh, and, and kind of speaking of that, um, mm -hmm. we are in an interesting time right now uh, with, with everything that's been going on uh, around the world globally, you know, regarding health issues and, and those types of things. And so another feature that we're adding into 2.2 mm -hmm. is really what we're kind of calling touch-free AV. And basically what we are doing is we are giving you the ability to, um, inside of the room, I can actually go in and add um, the ability to uh, to really dis to show and display a QR code, and you'll see here's my actual panel that I'm uh, that I'm displaying. So now, when I walk into a room or I walk to the outside of a room and I've got a scheduling panel, I can simply take my personal device and I can scan my QR code that is either on the panel. It can dynamically change. Again, I'll go through more details in the tech talk. Uh, on that as well. And then what that will also do is give me direct control wow. on my personal mobile device without having to touch a physical touch panel. And so now if I go into my room, you'll see that I can now control my room and I can switch sources and I can right raise there, my volume and I can do basically everything that I need to do from my own personal device if I have a fear of uh, germs or don't want to touch the touch panel, uh, or if I just want to provide a low-cost solution for our users that 
don't offer a touch panel in the room. Uh, so really, really cool uh, QR code generation, uh, touch-free AV built into Velocity 2.2, super cool feature. Very nice. Uh, also, uh, also check that out in the Tech Talks. I'll go into a deeper dive on that, on how to actually set that up and how to build that up on uh, Friday with Seth. So, so take a look there on that uh, cool. as well. Uh, the last item that I want to show you uh, regarding Velocity 2.2 is just something that we've added in, uh, specifically if you're talking about integration with a third-party management tool like SolarWinds or some of those types of network management um, applications. So in this case, I'm going to go into a specific room, and I'm going to go into my variables for this room. And what you will see here is that we have added the ability for Velocity to send SNMP traps to third-party systems. And so, for example, if I've got my OmniStream devices set up uh, and I want to go into my specific OmniStream device and I want to throw a trap for this device when it is connected versus not connected, I can simply select that trap um, enable and it will then throw those traps um, to whatever system that I designate and I can actually set the information, the, the SNMP server IP address here as well. Really, really cool third-party integration with, uh, with SNMP um, in this next release that's coming out. So, so check that out as well. Those are really kind of the top five. Um, there's a lot more features and new enhancements and user enhancements that we've added into the tool. Um, don't have time to go through all of that right now, obviously, but um, definitely check it out. Get some really, really cool stuff coming up in this next release. That's very cool. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that you went over this, this highlight of what we can expect in 2.2. Um, how, how long before we have to wait for 2.2? Uh, so we are targeting to have a 2.2 release uh, within 90 days of our announcement today. Mm -hmm. And so you should see something uh, late February mid to mid-August time frame. And uh, definitely worth, uh, worth the wait here because we've got a lot of great features coming out in this new, new release that we've got coming soon. Outstanding. So this is probably a really kind of good time to, to transition. You, you've, you've, you've spoken about a lot, of, uh, a lot of items here this morning, and so it's a good time to kind of plug all of the other content that you've helped create, Justin, here for at Lonacom 20. For example, you've got not one, but two webinars in our webinars on demand area. You, you signposted Absolutely. one. You've got another webinar for velocity in higher education, where you kind of go into some detail about how this control platform has been used in higher ed, yeah? Definitely, that, that's, um, that's actually a really good uh, webinar to get a visual representation. I'll, I'll walk through building an education project mm -hmm. and the, the tool does an absolutely phenomenal job of providing the ability to, to really in-house maintain the system, make changes to devices, swap out devices that, you know, that need to be, you know, that are faulty or that need to be changed out if you wanna change out from a projector to a flat screen. Uh, really simple uh, process to you know to uh, to walk through and reconfigure your room, your classroom spaces. So check that webinar out as well. Mm -hmm. And then while we're at it, we should quickly point out that there's a um, another uh, resource that our customers, speaking of uh, Velocity and Higher Ed, we've got a case study here featured uh, at the virtual booth. If you click onto the touch panel area, you'll actually see uh, a case study where we talk about Velocity being used in, in Higher Ed. So that kind of dovetails quite nicely into Absolutely. your uh, webinar. Now you've got uh, another webinar on demand and you hinted a little bit about it just now, is this the situation that we're in right now where people do not want to physically interact or at least limit the physical interaction that they have with their devices. So you have another webinar on velocity-free, uh, a rather velocity touch-free AV. Definitely, and that will actually, so the, the, the quick you know 30 second overview that I gave you on the QR code, that webinar will actually do a deeper dive, walk you through how to set up the QR code, the different security options that are available um, to to make that happen and uh, basically the full process. So that's a, that's also a good one to take a look at if you're interested in the the touch free AV with a QR code. Outstanding. And then of course you've already talked about the upcoming uh, tech talk uh, that we have uh, Friday afternoon. That's Friday the twelfth in the afternoon. So as part of our live week here at Atlonacom twenty, we have two live li live streams a day. The morning is our booth walkthrough, as you're listening to and watching right now. In the afternoon, my colleague and the sales engineer manager Seth Powell he hosts a tech talk live stream. 
And as Justin mentioned, uh, on Friday afternoon at 12 o'clock Pacific and 3 p.m. Eastern, we're going to have Justin back in the uh, the studios here talking about. Uh, I guess you guys are really just doing a deep dive on uh, on velocity, sort of absolutely. sort of a, a deep dive for uh, sales engineers and system operators and that sort of thing. We are. We're going to do a deep dive on that. Uh, really, kind of some of the highlight features that I talked about here. We're going to actually dive deep into those, and we'll show you how to configure those and set those up in the system. It's going to be great. Uh, but to be honest, the entire week. Uh, the morning sessions and the afternoon sessions for the Tech Talks are going to be uh, super fantastic. So make sure you check all of those out. Absolutely. And that all takes place at 12 Pacific and 3 p.m. Eastern. And for our guests, if they want to navigate over to the live events section of the Atlonacom portal for more details on all of these webinars and webinars on demand as well. So this is another good uh, transition point for us real quick before we start getting into some questions um, for our Snap AV colleagues, uh, your promo code is SNAP at LONA10. With that promo code, you can get 10% off your next purchase of Atlona products at Snap AV. So please contact your Snap AV representative for more information. Again, your promo code for Snap dealers is SNAP at LONA10. Get 10% off your next purchase. And I appreciate those folks for helping us out with the promotion of Atlonacom. So Justin, real quick, I had a question for you. Now, we've been talking about uh, Velocity as this IP-based control system. So that's great if everything that I'm controlling is IP-based. But what happens if I've got some of these legacy products in the room that I've either need to control via RS-232 or I want to control via IR? What's what's that next step that that is actually almost inevitable because it, at some point you're going to have a device that is not an ip device whether it's an rs232 controlled projector or if it's an ir controlled device and what we actually have is our velocity uh vcc and this will actually take the ip connection from your network and transmit that to rs232 to relay or io and to ir Mm -hmm. And it's a very, very simple, uh, simple ad to do that conversion from IP to those other formats. Cool. So w with that, so I'm taking the IP, converting it into some sort of a physical command stream or what have you. Now, um, what are what are some of the items that that would connect to that? So an IR bug, no doubt. Yeah, absolutely. It can connect to an, an IR port, IR bud um, for any IR devices like DVD players. Um, those types of uh, cable boxes, those types of devices that are IR controlled. Uh, there is a serial uh, RS-232 connection mm -hmm. that gives you the ability to connect to, to serial controlled devices. And we also have a relay and IO box that it will connect. And you can then control your motorized screens. You can trigger um, room sensors based off of occupancy, or you could trigger um, room control based off of uh, you know, divide combine uh, in a divisible space. Got it. So it's really fully featured that way. So you've got that one control and you can you can hit everything in the room. Fantastic. Now, some folks ask us about, you know, analytics and that sort of thing. What, what are your plans for, for that, for the uh, perhaps upcoming releases? How can I track how the system has been used and implemented and that sort of thing? Definitely a good question. And, and what I will tease is that there is active uh, ongoing development mm -hmm. uh, regarding data and analytics and how that might be used in, uh, in a future release of Velocity. Uh, so let's just say we're, we're doing some, uh, some proof of concepts at the moment. Mm -hmm. And in a release coming to, uh, coming to you soon, um, not 2.2, but um, possibly uh, sometime later this year, mm -hmm. we're looking at uh, at least a phase one of uh, implementation for data and analytics um, support. And that's really the the main thing about velocity. It's not just a point of time. It's you guys are constantly updating and tweaking and improving and taking customer feedback. It wasn't that long ago that 2.1 came out with a whole host of new features, which is now available. And now with 2.2, not that far away, you guys just never seem to stop on the development cycle of this thing. It's uh, we, we run agile. So uh, we are running uh, always, always iterating uh, and improving the, the product, adding new features. Um, we're definitely in tune with customer feedback. So if you have feedback, Make sure you can't reach out to me and get me that information uh, because that's how we make the product better. Um, I can't just close my eyes and throw a dart at a balloon and hope it's what you need. 
um, <laughs> I need your feedback. And that's how we're going to uh, improve the product, make it better and make it more robust. Well, and I think that's really kind of a, a, a great thing to point out. If, if we look at the, uh, the screen, one of the best ways to get a hold of uh, Justin and to get him some information, you'll see the uh, big orange envelope right there. So that's another good way to actually get questions to us or, or rather get uh, comments and suggestions. Feel free to use that uh, more information. There'll be a window there where you can uh, add in your comments or just reach out to Justin or myself uh, directly at our loanagot.com addresses. So appreciate that. Very cool. So I think one last thing I want to plug now, sure. uh, Justin. This I, I I don't mean to 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 show everybody what a great uh, video that you did, but I want to let people know in the intro video that Justin put together for the overview of the system. If you want to get another view of that new panel that Justin teased us with, you can actually see it in this video. He's put it in place, got it on a glass mount looks really sharp and that's something i you know good looking i'm looking panel, forward no to yeah, absolutely and a good looking host too look at that right there. oh well thank you well <laughs> much appreciated <laughs> that's awesome so well justin uh, i i i appreciate your time this morning i i thank you for coming by the studios and, and spending some time with us the webinars that you've created looking forward to absolutely. friday afternoon session you guys are closing out uh, at lonacom 20. we will yes I, I get i get the privilege to open it and close it <laughs> with you and with Seth. So I'll, I'll take that all day, every week. Very cool. Very cool. And so I'd like to uh, encourage everybody uh, to, um, after the after this live uh, streamcast, I encourage you to jump back over to at Lonacom the tw uh, 20 portal to check out uh, not only my Seth, uh, my colleague Seth's uh, uh, live stream at uh, 12 o'clock uh, noon Pacific and 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern today, but also check out all of the other content that we have at Atlonicom. It's a great virtual trade show. We're sorry that we didn't get a chance to see you in uh, Vegas this year, but with uh, all the wonderful content here and the fact that you don't have to hop on an airplane, we hope to make it just as engaging, entertaining, and educational for you. So again, from my colleague, Justin Kennedy, and the entire Atlonicom 20 team, I'm Garth Loban, and I'll see you at the booth. Hey.